Hey there! Welcome back to Lydia's Plate. Today for supper we are having mashed potatoes, corn and Salisbury steak. The potatoes usually take the longest, so I'll start them first. I'm using my Rada potato peeler. It is well designed and includes a knife-like tip for quickly cutting out small bits, as I do here with a potato eye. I find peeling directly into my compost pail saves me cleanup time. Sometimes, if I'm in a hurry and have not started my potatoes early enough, I will cut the potatoes smaller so they cook faster, but not today. Today I'll quarter them. On to the beef. This is lean ground beef from a half of beef that we purchased from a local farmer. It is different from store-bought beef, so if you're using store-bought beef, I don't know how this will turn out for you. I like to break up the beef so it's easier to mix in the other ingredients. Years ago when I found this recipe I searched the grocery stores for a can of French onion soup but all I could find was the powdered package of French onion soup base so I just mix it up myself which I like better anyways because I am more likely to have French onion soup base, water and flour on hand rather than a can of soup that I would only use for this recipe. But that's just me and what works for me. Now I can continue with the beef mixture. The meat is mixed and ready to be shaped into patties, so I clean up my workspace and take off my rings. Now the patties can start frying and I'll mix up the sauce, starting with the remaining onion soup, then adding ketchup, Worcestershire sauce and dry mustard powder.
I had not thought ahead to take out the corn earlier, so I will add a little water so my pot is not dry and put it on medium-high heat. Then it's time to flip the Salisbury steaks. Once the first batch is browned on both sides, I can start the second batch. So please let me know if you like this part of the video because if you don't, I'll edit it out next time and if you do, I'll move the camera so you get a better view. My original intention had been to cut this out, but as I was editing, I thought, you know what? This is real life. This is what we do. The table doesn't magically clean itself off and set itself. Sometimes I'll ask the kids to set the table, most of the time actually, but I film this on a holiday. I was relaxed and taking my time with making supper, and everyone else was watching a movie that I wasn't too interested in. Plus, because our kids are doing more and becoming more involved in our family team, sometimes I like to do a job like this again because I don't do it much anymore, and also, it gives our kids a break. So now I'm back to the food. The meat is done and it's time to get the sauce cooking. This is where you'll see that I do differ from the recipe because I've been making my own French onion soup. The recipe says to add water before when I was adding the ketchup, Worcestershire sauce and dry mustard powder. But because my mixture gets thicker, I thin it out with a little more water. And I do this as I go so that I can keep an eye on it. Adding the water this way at the end also allows me to wash out my measuring cup with any leftover flavor. I could just put in less flour in the beginning, but this way it makes more sauce than the first time I made it. We like more sauce because some of us also use it as gravy over our potatoes. Once the sauce is mixed and heated, it's time to return the meat to the pan and let all those flavors do their thing together.
Some of us also like fried onions over our Salisbury steaks. Sometimes I had mushrooms too, but today I didn't have any and just wanted onions. I totally could have used my mandolin slicer for this, but I like cutting my onions this way. I don't know. Maybe it's therapeutic. I wasn't rushed, I had no pressure, so I was simply enjoying cooking today. These onions are pretty well where I want them now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you see, hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time we post another video, and we look forward to bringing you more ideas of what to put on your plate. Bye!